everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you a neutral nature inspired tablescape for Thanksgiving. Now I know most of you don't celebrate Thanksgiving until November because you live in the States, but here in Canada we celebrate Thanksgiving this weekend actually. In celebration of that and because I have so much to be thankful for, I wanted to share a video with you today on how I've decorated our big Thanksgiving table with nature inspired accessories and lots of neutral colors. You might remember a few weeks ago I shared with you a fall table decorating idea that included a lot of color and a lot of non-traditional fall elements. I will leave that one in the description box below, but today I wanted to flip it around a little and share with you more of a traditional look for Thanksgiving dinner. And I can't really decide if I like the more colorful fall table version or this more traditional neutral fall table version. I would love to hear what you think, so after you watch this video let me know in the comments below which one you like better. I'm also including a free printable for you here today, so make sure to check out my blog post in the description box below to download your free printable bread wrapper. This is the perfect little accessory for your Thanksgiving table. It adds so much for hardly any money at all. Let's get started. So I'm starting with our big table in our dining room because so many people ask, this table is called the Keswick table and you can find it at the Brick. They gave it to me uh, last year and we love this table. It has two leaves in it so we can extend it to fit 12 people if we want to. So I'm starting with a faux eucalyptus garland that I found on Etsy. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. It was rather pricey, but it is handmade and it's a piece I'm going to use for multiple seasons year after year. Then I used these deer antler sheds that one of my daughter's friend's moms gave to me. They were perfect, I thought, for Thanksgiving and fall. And then I found some little white baby boo pumpkins at my local grocery store. They were only a couple dollars for six of them and I love including them in my fall decor this year. So that's most of my simple centerpiece for for this table and then I'm putting out some chargers I found them at Michael's and I just loved the white distressed look of these chargers and I got them I believe buy one get one half price and then I'm layering some textured white plates over top of the chargers and they were from Walmart last year also very inexpensive but I love the classic look of them and then on top of the white plates, I'm using some black and white nature-inspired woodland animal plates. I found these at a Canadian store called Urban Barn three years ago, but you can find really similar ones at lots of different stores. I will leave a link to those in the description box below. And then beneath those, I'm just putting some DIY linen napkins that I made. And then on top of everything, I'm putting um, a little bun and I printed off some of those bread wrappers I showed you at the beginning of this video. Just tape them around the bun and put a little sprig of rosemary underneath the wrapper. I love that look. It's so simple, so natural, but it makes each, each place setting just look extra special. You can make the buns or you can cheat like I did and just buy them at your grocery store. Then I found some decorative kale at my grocery store as well and I'm just slipping that into my centerpiece garland to add some live greenery in there. And then I just have these simple pillar candles. These ones were from Ikea in various heights to add some warmth to the table as well. So I just like to adjust things here and there. I like when I use garlands on tables just to kind of have them in an S shape or a nice back and forth sort of look rather than straight across the table to make them look more natural. On each setting I'm putting some silver cutlery. This is just some simple cutlery. I believe I got this at Walmart as well. Just a knife, a fork, and a spoon. And I do like copper for fall as well, but I find with this particular table, because it's a warm wood table, I really like the contrast of silver against the warm wood table. And then finally for each table setting, I'm using just some simple wine glasses. I'm also adding some coziness to this table setting with some fur pillows and a fall scarf. And this is the final look. It is very neutral and quite simple, but I think it still looks warm and inviting and very appropriate for fall. I love this centerpiece with the greenery, with the eucalyptus, the candles, the pumpkins. Everything was relatively inexpensive minus the garland and I really, really love the look. On my sideboard here, I put a plaid table runner over it to give it a Thanksgiving and fall vibe. I used faux pumpkins from Michael's a couple years ago, as well as some more of those baby boos and some little white pumpkins I found at the Dollar Tree. 
and I really like how those buttons with those printable bun wrappers just make each place setting look extra special and ready for a Thanksgiving dinner. I used lots of elements in this tablescape including the pumpkins, the greenery, the antler sheds, and I really like how all of the white and the green looks with the warm wood of my table. I think this is a great option for anybody who wants a more traditional looking Thanksgiving tablescape this season and even though it's neutral it has so much texture and interest and I really love how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Let me know in the comments below how you decorate for Thanksgiving and if you prefer my more colorful or this more neutral fall or Thanksgiving tablescape idea. If you like DIY and decor ideas on a budget, I would love for you to join this DIY community. So subscribe, hit the bell, and you will be notified as soon as I post any new videos here on the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.